what motivates me is just my peers and the Sound Academy. Everybody that I work with is just the best. <laughs> and they want me to be the best. I feel like if you don't want to get better, like that you're failing as a human being. <laughs> like our jobs are to get better. You should always aspire to do more. Hi, I'm Tribe Money Benny, and you may know me for producing In My Feelings by Drake. I've also produced for Little Yachty, Gucci Man, The Migos, and 03 Greedo. We're in Inglewood at the 1500 Sound Academy. James Fauntleroy and Lorance Dobson are from Inglewood, and they just wanted to build a school and give back and teach the right stuff. They're working on getting fully accredited so they can give out degrees. I taught my first class a couple weeks ago. It was just like a production class, kind of. Just like teaching every day, like what I do. Today we're gonna start with some sounds and hooks. I might rock with this one. It's really dope that you can change the the scale of the sample and it still sounds really good. Whatever the algorithm y'all use is amazing. So I really like the beginning of this, but I just wanted the end of it, the that to be pitched differently. I'm just gonna record it to audio so I, that way I can like chop it up. Just using the transpose in uh, Ableton. I like to process once it's in audio just so it's like it's printed and it's like easier to like move around and work with for myself. I always will keep the original sound just in case I want to like look back and be like, ooh, what was that? <laughs> My idea is constantly changing just because I'm like trying to like challenge myself and make something one of one every time. I'm not trying to remake anything. It's not really a, a planned thing. It's just like, ooh, that's like, that's the one. I taught my first class a few weeks ago. I get to design my own curriculum and kind of go over what I think is important. I also get to teach like how to interact with the artist and like how the producer shouldn't do too much and just like observe what's happening. Do your research on who you're working with. See what they like, what kind of beats they like or what tempo or whatever. Cause you never, they might ask you to make something from scratch. Um, I like the loop that I have right now. So I think I'm just gonna bring in um, some drums. I like to do all my own drums from scratch. So like when I go through drums, I'll, I'll just try to find like ones that I think sound cool. And then like, like I'll do like a kick drum rack, a snare drum rack, and like a hat drum rack. And then see what sounds, actually sounds good when I go to play it. When I'm making music, I'm just going off of like feeling and what do I think is tight right now. I'm not like trying to like overthink and be like, oh, I want to make this type of beat or this type of whatever. Does it, basically, does it sound cool? Is what's important to me? And then I'm also like a super like fan of tuning my drums. I really didn't know the song was real until I heard it when it came out. I sent some some tracks off and one turned into In My Feelings. Crazy how everything unfolded, but I couldn't have dreamed of a better scenario. I'm gonna just build a few cool, cool sounding kicks and then I'll probably like layer them together or like have some that kind of offset each other. And then same with the snare, like I always will uh, tune the kick. It's like just experimenting and seeing like what will sound cool together. I 
got a nice little layer of kicks going on. Uh, I think it sounds pretty tight. So I'm gonna try to add in some bass. I'll usually play my bass like an octave higher just to hear how it sounds like the tone of it. So. I'll play the MIDI in, and then this MIDI might change a good 10 times. And then I'll add in notes and whatnot to spice it up a little bit. I just like to keep the bass and the kick kind of together. I'm going to try to add in some uh, piano. like this random little ending on like the, one of the first takes and I kind of liked it. Just take that and kind of spice it up. Like that's, yeah. It might just be that. I like where we're at. It definitely needs like a little more like percussion and some other little sounds and whatnot, but I think we have a, a good little start right here. Perseverance is key. I never wanted to fail. I never wanted to let my, my parents down. Now I have a, a good accolade and a good milestone under my belt. One number one down and hopefully many, many more to come. <laughs>